So for those of you who haven't heard of Trello before, it is an online post-it note system that you can use to plan any event or organize group assignments or work out what you're going to be doing for the next month. So I've created one that you can use to organize your subjects and create a study timetable. So I've made it publicly available and the link to it is in the lesson. And so you just put it into the address bar and it will come up for you. To make your own copy, you just go to show menu, go down to more, and then click on copy board. And so this will make you your own copy. All right, so now you can see up here, it's a different board. And now it will let you edit it. So you can come in and add the names of your subjects. And for example, if you're in year 13 and you are not doing six subjects, then you can just archive this list and get rid of it. For each subject, there are three different color codes. And so that is for your three externals. So for example, the blue ones, I can edit the labels. And so I can turn the blue one into acids and bases. And then I can turn my yellow one into mechanics. And you can change the colors of the labels as well. So then we're going to come along and edit it. So for topic one, we are going to call that atomic structure. And then we can add in our key points. So rather than number one, I can have the periodic table. And electron arrangement. And so I can add all six. And then once I've covered them, so once I can recall everything that I need to know about the periodic table, I can check it off as complete and it will cross it out for me. So again, comes down here saying it's completed. So when I go into the card, I know what I still have to do. All right, so then when I have a look at the card, it tells me that I've done one out of six. We can also move these cards around. So I can move it down to here. So this week, I want to cover the topic atomic structure. So for the week, I know that I'm working on the periodic table, electron arrangement, and my other points. And then once I've completed them all, and they're all done, I can move it into the completed pile. So I know I no longer have to do that. And instead, I can focus on something else this week. So you could have multiple cards in, and so you might have the entire acids and basis topic, for example. So you might have all the blue cards in your this week pile, and then complete it at the end of the week and move something else in.